Okay. And hello, everyone. I'm Rob from Cruising on the High Seas with here Sean from the Down Unders and Larry from Plump Travelers. Okay. Today, today, we are talking all about helping hands for cruising. What is helping hands for cruising? Sean, would you like to tell us? Yeah, Helping Hands for Cruising is a charity that we set up uh, that would allow people who have never had the opportunity for one reason or another to actually get on a cruise. So um, we're giving them a holiday of a lifetime. And uh, that's what Helping Hands for Cruising is all about. That's great. And Larry, can you tell us yes. how we can, how, can you tell us how we can donate to Helping Hands for Cruising? Uh, you can donate through a PayPal link, which uh, I'm sure Sean will be able to put up after. Um, I think that's it that I know of right now. It'll that be in the description. It's it'll be in the all, description below. And it will also be in the description and throughout the chat when we are live. So our first recipient for Helping Hands for Cruising is Kenneth Oaks, a.k.a. The Foreman. And he Ford is... Ex yeah, for Foreman, Kenneth Oaks. Foreman here. Today, <laughs> we are taste testing Helping Hands for Cruising. Yes. Yes. And, also, of, of course, and of course, we would like to have many, many others after him. Yep, absolutely. Mm -hmm. The intention is that within the next 12 months, we've got at least three cruises up. So, yeah. And the first cruise will be going out of Miami on, on the horizon. Yep. In October of 2022. That's correct. And Larry, can you tell us what the ports are? Yes, it is uh, Aruba. Uh, it is Bonaire and La Romana, Dominican Republic, and Amber Cove, Dominican Republic. And it's going out of Miami. And then, of course, we're turning back to Miami. Yes. And, of course, there will be many, many activities up on board the cruise ship. That I heard there's be going to be some drinking and some food um yeah and then there's going to be some things with the sunshine and some water i guess oh plenty plenty, plenty of water larry, but larry we can't tell you because um you'd need to be on the <laughs> cruise for those yes <laughs> <laughs> yes and of course hey, if you're hey, not... how many days how many days until the cruise who's got uh, the countdowns well Come on, let's current, hear it, currently we are looking at 252 days Five so hours 252 and days for five something hours to happen minutes. for me to be able to go on that cruise. Correct. Yes. <laughs> and of course, for, for, for everyone that's not familiar with the video that we have put out on Helping Hands for Cruising, we will show it right now. Give me two seconds. In a second or so. <laughs> It'll be coming up shortly. Yep. Like now. Now. Have you ever dreamt about taking a cruise on one of them fancy boats? Soaking up the beauty and the magic just to free your soul. It's floating on the ocean, just a notion that seems out of reach. One thing on your bucket list is just to go and see the beach. You want to see the world, but something always holds you back. You got that itching feeling, but your dreams got hijacked. There's lots of people out there that never get to cruise. But Helping Hands is helping making dreams come true. Helping Hands for Cruise. dreamed about don't let anything stop you thinking you can't go all out you can do the things you never thought were possible with helping hands to help you get there even oceans aren't a obstacle you want to see the world but something 
often always hold you back You've got that itching feelings but your dreams got hijacked There's lots of people out there that never get to cruise But helping hands is helping making dreams come true Helping hands for cruise About taking a cruise in one of them big old boats Soaking up that sun, feel that breeze Yeah, there is still hope Don't let the ocean be an ocean that is out of reach Let's get together, help each other And go see the sea You wanna see the world, but something always holds you back You've got that itching feeling, but your dreams got hijacked There's lots of people out there That never get to cruise But helping hands is helping making dreams come true What a top song. I tell you what, I have to thank Fat Matt Adventures for doing that. Yes, ah, he did. What an amazing song. I love that video and song, man. He did an amazing job. Yep. yep. Fat Matt Adventures on YouTube. Go check them out. Yes, what a very fantastic uh, video that was. And he has Wait, hoping we'll that he actually makes it on the cruise as well, to be honest. <clears throat> I think he's he's making decisions as to whether or not he comes on the cruise. And uh, if he does, that will just complete the circle because there's the Helping Hands for Cruising board, there's the recipient and the guy who made the song possible. And then me. Yes. <laughs> yes, we got to get you on that cruise. Larry only wants to come for the activities. I know him. Yeah. And what are the activities? <laughs> um, well, Rob and I know. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's our helping hands for cruising video so please do consider in donating to this wealthy good charity as it will allow many other recipients to join us absolutely yes um uh if, if I may, I want to mention something about the hotel, if I could. Yep, go ahead. Am I? So if nobody knows about this, the, there's going to be a pre-cruise meetup at the Hilton Garden Inn Airport West, I think it's called. Yep. Uh, link will be in the description. Uh, so, yeah, there's going to be a pre-cruise meetup. Uh, there's a hotel there. We have some great rates for the hotel. Um, yes, for, I think it's October 14th to the 15th. Uh, you don't have to, to use that hotel, but you, it, we certainly would like to see you come to the pre-cruise party. Um, I'm not privy to what the activities during this party will be. <laughs> um, only Sean knows that right now. <laughs> I don't know if Rob knows, but <laughs> oh, Rob knows so, everything. I know everything. Rob knows everything. Okay, yeah. And so, yeah, it would be greatly appreciated if uh, um, if everybody can come to that if they could. Um, so, what else? Oh, yeah, I got fourteen rooms put on hold. Uh, if you'd like one of the rooms for the night before, just get in contact with me. Link will be in the description. Um, da -da 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 -da. I think that's it. Is there anything that, else that I could be saying, Sean? And that and that pre-cruise party is because we are leaving Miami on the 15th of October with Kenneth on board. 
giving him yes. his very first cruise of his lifetime. And I asked, I asked Kenny, I said, Kenny, what's the first thing you're going to do when you get on the ship? And he looked at me and he went, don't know. Reason being, <laughs> Kenny's never been on the ocean. He's never seen, he's never seen the sea. So this is going to be oh. like a whole, a whole thing of newbies. So um, the next step. I can't, I can't wait to see his reaction. I really, the, the, it'll be priceless to see his. Oh, it will be. Response to it seeing the ocean. It definitely, uh, it definitely will be. And, and yeah. something that's akin to um, what you're up to, Rob, um, you being a chef, um, we have got the fortunate um, thing that we're, we're going to be having the, uh, we're going to be on the chef's table. So guess who's actually going to be with us on the chef's table? Young Mr. Kenneth. Can you imagine? And this is doing the chef's table. Yep. Ah, see, I'm I'm hearing it. One of the activities. Oh, we need to mark that <laughs> on the calendar. <laughs> right on, Kenneth on the chef's table. That's going to be an amazing, amazing video there. Well, it will be because I can just see Kenny going with his camera, taste testing everything. Yep. Right, every single dish. Yep. Yep. Up a and ten. We, oh, we all seven, know that. That's uh, definitely a ten. That yeah, it's definitely yeah. Uh, yeah. It'll be it'll be awesome. So uh, watching yes, watching it, Kenny have a good time will be great. Yes, That's it will be awesome. I didn't know that. Woohoo! Well, if you would have been on the cruise, you would have. Been... <sighs> Sorry. Again, yep. two hundred and something <laughs> days left to go, so we never know. Oh, by the way, and Rob, this has got to do with. Um, uh, the Ontario government and, and stuff like that. Did you see in the news today about Alberta dropping all the vaccine passports and everything? Not yet. Oh, yes, everything. And so now it's putting pressure on all the provinces to, to do the same. So I'm just saying. Just saying. Things could be changing. Yeah. Things could be changing. And uh uh, according to our health minister, is that they're they're actually instead of uh, working uh, with uh, as if it's a pandemic, they're talking about as it's an endemic. So yeah, yep. sounds and like about, the tables are turning. About friggin' time they, uh, yeah. they yes. got, let you connect out of there. Yes, and of course, yes. if, if of course, if some of you guys are unaware of how it is up here in Canada, the difficulty. It is for us to travel. It is very difficult for us to travel as we have to not only test out, but we also have to test to come back in. But but by the way, Sean, in, in regards to what uh, Rob's talking about, I actually have to spend an extra night in Los Angeles because uh, because of the PCR test coming back. There's no guarantees of getting a PCR test to come back to Canada while you're on a cruise, right? You mm -hmm. have to book, you know what I mean? I either pay $150 for a PCR test and bring it with me, which you mm -hmm. can bring those with me because I get the two antigen tests and they can be, they're called proctored. Mm -hmm. um, and that, uh, and so I got those. So I have to spend an extra day in Los Angeles to, just so I can make sure I can be careful of getting back into the country because without that PCR, they're saying, nope, sorry. Yeah, we're not we're not exactly sure what we need to come back in, but at the end of the day, um, you know, it's October, so when October, I actually comes, just saw in the news today about Australia. Was it New Zealand allowing you guys from Australia in now? Yeah, um, we've been allowed in all the time, although we're we're through transit. They've they've locked down certain areas to us because we would have been able to get access backwards and forwards. But right now. Um, they're allowing people in general to travel through. Um, and if you're in transit, you are not actually entering the country. So from our point of view, that's, that's cool. How does that work? I'm confused with that. Well, if you're flying into a destination somewhere else, so for example, we were- Oh, going... transiting through. I see what you yeah. mean. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. Mm. Yeah, that, that, yeah. That, that, that'd be like uh, doing a, like a, almost like a tran transatlantic, right? Yep. So for us, uh, we've got, th there are a number of uh, aircraft flying through Qantas 
does fly direct without a stop. We're doing Air New Zealand when we come in because that's cheaper than Qantas. And uh, with us, we'll fly to Auckland and then from Auckland through to Houston. So um, the we're, we're in Auckland for a couple of hours to change gates and then out we go. Wow. Wow. So that's the nature yeah. of the beast. And then yeah. by the time we get there, we'll get there like about 10 hours after we left, after flying 19 hours. But it's only like 10 hours after we left. Wow. I've never experienced long flights, so ah. interesting. Every time I see a YouTuber talking about, hey, I'm going over here, or I just flew 17 hours or whatever, it's it's only within you know, like a, a 10 minute video. <laughs> you don't see the the oh the, the kinks in your neck and the back pains and I do not have enough memory or battery power to fit video the entire flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you will get some, <laughs> some doses. Yeah. The longest flight I've ever taken was uh, from Vancouver down to Mexico and back. Six hour flight. That's as long as I've ever flown. Yep. Mine would be down to Heathrow. Mine oh, was, oh. was 27 hours. I flew Melbourne to Singapore, Singapore to Frankfurt, Frankfurt to a place called Dresden. And we did a karate tournament there. And then same all the way back. Um, I, I'm guessing not the same day that you flew in. <laughs> no. Although uh, many thousands of years ago, I used to be a cabbie and I had um, a guy in the car who flew from Melbourne. Get this. He flew on Friday. No, th Thursday, Melbourne to London. And then I picked him up Monday morning at the airport. He'd fly in for a meeting, have his meeting and then fly back. Wow. But I guess for you, though, doing physical <laughs> karate stuff, you would need like a, a couple days of uh, what do you call What's that called? Uh, trying to get rest from jet lag, wouldn't you? Yeah, you wouldn't no. be able to just go right in there and Mate, I don't, I don't know how if. I you haven't experienced jet lag, so I don't know. So I don't know. Sorry. Sorry, Sean. You get all hyped up, so you don't worry about the jet lag. It's when you come back. I mean, our, our fear is this. When we come back from the U.S., we're going to be flying into, um, we're going to be flying into Houston and then from Houston to Fort Myers, and it'll all be within the same day, time zone. Well, not time zone, but same day. Um, yeah. When we come back, we'll be flying the same number of hours but lose a day. That is, yeah, it's that is trippy. strange. Um, yeah, I, I'm not really familiar with, I have uh, past time zones because coming from, from one side of the country to the other, you get past what, three time zones, I think. Yeah, three, four, three, four time um, zones. Is that? About three or four time zones. Well, if I'm coming from New Brunswick, it's four time zones. You get the, uh, the eastern you get the central, the mountain, and then I'm out in Pacific. So, yeah, three. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if I was coming from New Brunswick, that would be four. Yeah. Where I'm from. I'm from originally from St. John, New Brunswick, which is on the, in the Maritimes. And that's once you get past, is it Quebec or Ontario? Either one of those, then it come, becomes another time zone. And then you got Newfoundland, which is 30 minutes past the Maritimes. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think it should just as you go past Quebec. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sean, uh, for this trip here coming up. Um, yeah. So normally we would take a, well, okay. So my trip down to see her, my daughter's wedding in, in April. Yep. Uh, I'm taking my van into Vancouver, driving my van into Vancouver. So I got to take the two ferries in and uh, stay the night in a hotel and leave the van there and yep. go down and, and stuff and come back. Well, this trip here, it's actually cheaper, but not kind of to uh, fly out of Powell River on our small plane. So we have a, 
a, a, a local airline here. It comes in and it flies into Van, or from Powell River to Vancouver. It's called Pacific Coastal Airlines. And they have a, a Beechcraft 1900 C and D. And it holds, I think, 20 passengers. Gee, that's a relatively and, big aircraft for you guys. Yeah, well, I, 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 when I booked the flight, I didn't know. I've never been on these these kinds of planes, that small of a plane before, besides like, you know, Cessnas and stuff like that. So I know how, what that's like. But on these commercial small planes, I've never been on. And so when I booked my seat the other day, I went over to the airport to finalize some details. And it turns out that I was actually, I booked a seat that it was, in front of me would have been a closet and it's meant for, well, it's not meant, but that's where they put those that have never flown before. <laughs> There's oh. No window or nothing. I didn't know all of that. It's like, wow. So they ended up uh, switch me over to the other side and now I'm right by the exit and I'm going to, I'm actually going to get the uh, pilot to, to see if they'll put my GoPro up in the window so I can get that footage. And then while I'm there, I can, I'm going to be sitting there right where, the cockpit is open, so it's not a closed cockpit. So you get to see all the actions of that's going to be pilot awesome. Did. That's neat. Another cool thing. Another cool thing is is when I'm coming back, like my flight gets into Vancouver at ten something at night, so I got to spend another night in the hotel downtown Vancouver. But that's okay because I got another flight coming back to Powell River with another airline. That's just starting new, starting March 7th. We have a float plane service coming into Powell River, and they oh, wow. have a deal for one way for $99 flying on a float plane, which I've never taken before. So, um, oh, and, and plus I got to sit way in the back because I'm six foot two and 300 pounds and get, get a, a seatbelt. So, this is uh, what did they say? It's like a caravan. Uh, I can't remember the, it's not your Cessna caravan. It's a, I think it's a different one. And, but it's a smaller float plane. Yep. So I've never been on a float plane before. So, and, and, and so this and is going to be a bucket load of firsts for you because oh, you'll be I flying in there. Wait. It'll be your first cruise. It'll be yeah, your first air. You're, you've got a bucket load of cherries being popped, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Although I've been to LA before, so that's not a cherry that needs to be broken there. <laughs> Sorry, Rob, I'm 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 embarrassing you there. That's okay. <laughs> That's fully okay. Yeah, Rob already lost his <laughs> a good while ago. Did 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 you look under the fridge? <laughs> Sorry, Rob. That's for you, Rob. I know. You know, it was for me. <laughs> no, I did not choose to look under the fridge. In case you're out wondering. But anyways, back to the main topic. Helping hands for cruising. Helping hands for Helping cruising. Hands. Guys, dig deep, stick your hand in your pocket, pull out your small change, just chuck it into a jar and head down somewhere where you can just place all that small change into a uh, uh, into our account. Uh, every little bit helps. Um, the good news is the more people we get on, on a cruise, the more they have the opportunity to learn and have fun. And of course, if, of course if, it, if I can tell a little story, it won't, it won't be a long story. Um, that's okay. About why I support helping hands for cruising. If I can, you got to let me take a drink of water. This is going to be a long winded one here. So, all right, guys, guys, get ready. <laughs> hang on. Yes. I'm holding tight. So the reason why I truly support helping hands for cruising is I, I grew up in a, a less fortunate situation in my life. And I've done I've, my very first experience at travel was uh, based off an organization called Big Brothers and Big Sisters. And it was in 1978. And they took us on a bus trip to Boston, Massachusetts, 1978. I got to see Fenway Park, you know, um, like a, in a big city that was the first time ever going to a big city. And so this organization paid for us to go. And then um, 
I, without going too far into like long, long life, long life history here, um, I've been on many trips, and the majority of my my trips I've been on has been sponsored by charities and organizations. Um, and I'm very grateful and thankful that um, that this this these things could happen for me. Um, you know, uh, without that, I wouldn't have been able to see all the things that I've done. Um, for those that don't know, I'm a, a home-based travel agent. So that has given me some of the, you know, experience and, and understanding of travel out there. My very first commercial airline plane uh, trip was in 1980. It was on Air Canada, and it was going from Moncton, New Brunswick to Montreal, and then from Montreal, Quebec, to uh, Ontario, which where where Rob lives there. Mm-hmm. Um, I was go. Uh, I get a ten day trip to Tim Hortons Memorial Camp, and for those Canadians that are listening, um, Tim Hortons, our our main coffee. Uh, uh, coffee restaurants here in Canada. Um, they, every year they have a, a fundraiser f- uh, for kids, underprivileged kids to go to these camps that they give and help them with uh, leadership and all that kind of stuff. So at 10 years old, I was able to be chosen to go on that trip. So they flew us all the way up to uh, Quebec and then they took us uh, from Quebec to the, the camp on a Tim Hortons bus, you know, and. Um, for me, I was so proud. I got to hold on to, uh, I think there was 15 of us kids coming from the East Coast in the Maritimes, and I got to hold on. Back then, it was the actual plane tickets, the paper airplane tickets with the sleeves and stuff I had to hold on. And I was actually the first one off the plane because uh, they had a bunch of thistles greeting us there, and uh, I was all proud, 10 years old, and they're speaking French and I had no clue what they were saying, but I felt important. And um, so, yeah, I was, I went to this camp for 10 days and it was amazing. And um, I, I, I actually put in to see if I can go back for what do they call um, uh, reunion. Um, they have a, a reunion every year and I would love to do that because they're still going on the camp that I went to. It was called Tim Hortons Memorial Camp. Uh, it's 25 miles northeast of Perry Sound, Ontario. <laughs> my mom used to say, yeah, my son Larry went to, you know, Tim Horton's camp. Oh, anyway, go, Larry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so, okay, so all these, uh, I'm very grateful. It has it helped me with my, my understanding of life. And it's, and, and, and it's helped me with my, how I treat others and everything like that. And, and the point I'm trying to make is, is that, you know, um, without these kind of things, like, like helping hands for cruising, it's, it's making somebody's dream, you know, somebody that's never been to an ocean, um, you know, they, they'll never get to see the ocean sometimes you, due to their uh, circumstances and stuff. And now this person here, Kenny, is going to go see the ocean where many people don't get to see. Uh, I, I was born in a town next to the ocean. So yeah, it's beautiful. It's amazing. And I actually live here on the West Coast on the ocean. It's amazing. So I can't imagine not being around it because it's it, the water and, and the ocean is amazing and stuff like that. So, and then get to go on to these big ships. It's like, oh, it, it is. It's a dream. That would be a dream, right? You know, and, and I want... I want to be a part of that, um, uh, you know, making those, like the, the song was saying, make a dreams come re- a reality. Um, you know, I, I, I cannot wait to see Kenneth, Kenny's face when he sees the water for the first time. It was like my very first time ever seeing somebody seeing snow for the first time, man. It's like magical. It's, it's amazing just seeing, you know, like the, wow, like they're so, you know, amazed with it. And so, yeah, I just can't wait to uh, uh, see Kenneth's face when he sees that water, man. And thanks to Helping Hands for Cruising, you know, you know, hopefully this will make it his dreams a reality. Yeah, it will. It will. Yep. We'll certainly change a life. Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah. And, and, course- and, and many others out there too, hopefully. Yep. Right? Oh, yes. With ma- ma- many others, because 
I truly believe with Kenny having an awesome and fantastic time on this group cruise for helping hands of cruising, he will be willing to also give back into the charity so someone else can do it too. Well, and, and that's and, what's and, happened and, with me as well. That's helped and, me with charities as well. I, I support any charity like that. I will support it. It's like giving back to your, 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 for somebody that's loved me. It's like, it, it, it makes you, it helps you to give back tenfold. You know what I mean? Um, and, and very grateful stuff. And yeah, so he, he'll do the same thing for, for others too. Right. Absolutely. And that's the, that's the intention, right? Anybody yeah. comes on board and does the, does the group cruise, the, uh, and acts as a recipient of the helping hands for cruising. We want them to pay it forward. So in other words, their way of paying back that cruise, get somebody else involved. Mm -hmm. And Kenneth yeah. is amazing, loving, uh, uh, loving person, you know. He's, oh. he's the most awesome guy I've, I've met. Yeah. For someone who has the afflictions that he has, the fact that he is so stubborn about... <laughs> yes. About stubborn, his, yes. He's stubborn about his his ability to do things, his desire to mm -hmm. do things, but he certainly oh. acts as an inspiration to everybody. So there we go. Mm -hmm. Yep. And of course, it will be an, a fantastic trip. And like Sean said, every little bit counts. So even if it's a few pennies here, pennies there, it's better than nothing. Hey, I, I can't remember what the, the, the minimum payment that you can do with PayPal, but it's really nothing. It's correct. Yeah. Yeah. PayPal link will be on description. All right. Um, so, um, go ahead, Sean. Yeah. I'm just, I just want to say to all the people who have actually um, given effort and energy into putting helping hands together. Um, I want to thank them very much for their assistance. Um, it's, it's very difficult doing this on, on your own. And I appreciate all the help that we've been getting from all the presenters through to the board. And, and on behalf of the board, we want to thank all the people who have donated <clears throat> because we, um, um, we can then, um, uh, get more people like Kenny up on, on board. So um, uh, we, we would like to have as many as we possibly can, to be honest. Like I say, hopefully next year, three cruises. The year after that, who knows? Yep. That would be, that'd be fantastic. Anyways, I'm going to start wrapping things up around here. I'd like to thank you, my, my guests, Sean from the Down Unders and Larry thank, from Pump Travelers. Thank you for having if, us. If you, you have not if you have not subscribed to them, please do head over and hit that bell and subscribe to them. And of course, subscribe to myself, Rob from Cruising on the High Seas. And of course, no links questions will be to in all. description. And all links will be in the description. Yep. So thank thank you all for coming on out. And let's start donating to Helping Hands for Cruising. Have you ever dreamt about taking a cruise on one of them fancy boats? Soaking up the beauty and the magic just to free your soul. It's floating on the ocean, just a notion that seems out of reach. One thing on your bucket list is just to go and see the beach. Wanna see the world, but something always holds you back You got that itching feeling, but your dreams got hijacked There's lots of people out there that never get to cruise But Helping Hands is helping making dreams come true Helping Hands for Cruising Helping Hands for Cruising Cruising Helping Hands for Cruising Making your dream a reality You know you gotta do the things you've only dreamed about Don't let anything stop you thinking you can't go all out You can do the things you never thought Possible with helping hands to help you get there Even oceans aren't a obstacle You wanna see the world but something always holds you back You got that itching feeling but your dreams got hijacked There's lots of people out there that never get to cruise But helping hands is helping making dreams come true Helping hands for cruise Taking a cruise in one of 
one of them big old boats Soaking up that sun, feel that breeze, yeah there is still hope Don't let the ocean be an ocean that is out of reach Let's get together, help each other and go see the sea You wanna see the world but something always holds you back You've got that itching feeling but your dreams got hijacked There's lots of people out there that never get to cruise But helping hands is helping making dreams come true Love that song. Anyways, until next time, I will see you on the high seas. Let's stop the recording. Have you ever dreamt about taking a cruise on one of them fancy boats? Soaking up the beauty and the magic just to free your soul. It's floating on the ocean, just a notion that seems out of reach. One thing on your bucket list is just to go and see the beach. You want to see the world, but something always holds you back. You got that itching feeling, but your dreams got hijacked. There's lots of people out there that never get to cruise. But helping hands is helping making dreams come true. Helping hands are cruising. dreamed about don't let anything stop you thinking you can't go all out you can do the things you never thought were possible with helping hands to help you get there even oceans aren't a obstacle you want to see the world but something always holds you back you've got that itching feeling but your dreams got hijacked there's lots of people out there that never get to cruise but helping hands is helping making dreams come true helping hands are cruising About taking a cruise in one of them big old boats Soaking up that sun, feel that breeze, yeah there is still hope Don't let the ocean be an ocean that is out of reach Let's get together, help each other and go see the sea You wanna see the world but something always holds you back You've got that itching feeling but your dreams got hijacked There's lots of people out there that never get to cruise But helping hands is helping making dreams come true Help